Here's a simple walkthrough for adding Steam in-home streaming to XBMC Media Center. In order to do this, you need XBMC and Steam installed on the PC that's connected to your television, and you need a gaming PC with some games installed, also running Steam somewhere in your house. Why would you want to use Steam in-home streaming? Well, my gaming PC is also my work PC, and it's upstairs in my office. It's crammed, and it's not a very comfortable place to play games. I prefer to play games sitting on the couch with my friends and family. Also, I'm not going to purchase another big expensive gaming PC to run in my living room. You can set this up on any old laptop or net top or any device that has the Steam client installed, whether it's Windows or it's Linux. If you only want to use Steam <coughs> in-home streaming and you don't need or care about the Media Center stuff, then you don't... <coughs> then you don't need XBMC. You can just configure your PC, your TV PC, to boot directly into the Steam Big, big Picture mode. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is open XBMC. Okay, so this is the default skin that comes with XBMC, and it's not very configurable. So first thing that we want to do is uh, go ahead and install the Steam program add-in. Okay, so we're going to go to System, okay, then we're going to go to Add-ins, and then we're going to Get Add-ons, and then we're going to get this out of the Super Repo. If you need to know how to install the Super Repo, just search for it. It's a very easy thing to set up. Okay, in the Super Repo, or, uh, the Super Repo we're going to go into Program Add-ons. Okay, and then we are going to find the Steam Add-in. Okay, I'm going to click that, and you would install that, which I've already got it installed. Okay, once that add-in has been installed, then you need to change to a different uh, user interface for XBMC. So we're going to go ahead and go to System Settings, and we're going to go to Appearance. And we're going to change the skin from Confluence to Aeon Knox. Okay. Then, once you're in Aeon Knox, you need to go ahead and create the pointer that's going to launch Steam. So here we're going to go to System Skin Settings. Okay. And then we're going to go to Home Window, set up the Aeon Knox main menu. We're going to go down to the first of available uh, custom setting here, and we are going to change that so it says Steam. Okay, and then we're going to set the background, single uh, image background, and we're just going to find a file on the disk that we've already downloaded to be act as the background. Okay, and then on the uh, default select action, we're going to go down to uh, add-on, program, steam. Okay, then we go ahead back out and go find the new steam link that is there. Now at this point, we can just launch it. And it will kick off Steam Big Picture mode. Now, this is running on a low power machine, like one connected to your television set. Then, when you view your library, it should automatically connect to your gaming PC somewhere else in your house. And when you pick a game, it instead of just having a play option here, it'll say stream from, and it'll give you the available computers that you can stream from. You just go ahead and click play. And it will launch the game, and you can now play the game comfortably from your living room with a couple of X, uh, Xbox 360 controllers plugged in and have a true console experience from your living room 
on a low power computer, uh, not needing any sort of gaming PC or heavy hardware in the living room. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, leave me a comment if you uh, want to know more, if you have any questions.